Hi everyone, my name is Twinkle and welcome back to the part 2 of Get Ready With Me video wherein I teach you how to do your makeup and your hair for your cabin crew interview with Gata Airways. In my previous video, I showed you how to do makeup for your cabin crew interview which is this look. If you've missed that video of mine, I'm going to link it down in the description box or you can look for this video in my YouTube channel and you can have a look so that you know how I achieve this look and in this video I'm going to show you how to make that perfect round and neat bun which you see most of the flight attendants that they have done uh, when they are wearing their uniform and the kind of uh, bun that even the interviewers or the recruiters of Qatar Airways or any other Middle East Airlines like Emirates or Etihad or any other Gulf Airlines are looking for so if you're interested please keep watching now different airlines have different requirements and different kind of hairstyles which are allowed and permitted for some airlines it's okay to have your hair open for some airlines it is okay to have a ponytail and for some airlines it is very strict to have uh, so as to what kind of uh, bun where is it positioned and all of that so if you're looking for the do's and don'ts and what are the things that are allowed uh, to do in an interview with respect to your hair you can check this video of mine which is the female grooming guide for Kata Airways where I've answered all your questions in detail so before I get into making the hairstyle let's discuss what are the things that you will need before making this bun so the first thing that you require is a comb or a hairbrush to comb your hair properly you will need a hair tie which is uh, which has to be black in color and choose something similar to this which is black in color and very slim so that it can be concealed a hairspray or a gel or a paste whatever you want you will need a donut where you can get it you can get it in amazon or any of the local cosmetic shops where you get your hair accessories some tic tac pins u pins bobby pins hair net the thin one I will show it to you while I am doing the hairstyle to you so that it's more clear and you will need black rubber hair ties. So the first step is to brush comb your hair nicely so you get rid of all the knots and they're nice and smooth. Also your hair needs to be washed and cleaned but if you watched my video wherein I talk about the kind of hair. I've told you it's better that you wash your hair a day before the reason being it becomes more settled and it's easy for us to put them in a style because it has already started uh, secreting its natural oil now take a comb and make a side partition like this make a neat and a clean partition now it's up to you that you can choose to pull your hair behind entirely and, or just go for a side partition here i'm going to demonstrate to you how to do a side partition now once you have done a partition make sure the side hair are nicely and neatly tucked behind your ear you can use a comb and now for the rest of your hair you can use your hands to make it neater by just putting your baby hair aside and make it look more sleek now once you're done making your hair look like this you will take a paste or a gel here i'm taking the tech paste by l'oreal and it looks like this i will take a very little amount and just you can see it's very sticky so it takes a very less amount of product we'll rub it between our hands so that the minimum amount of product is used and just by using strokes like this like how i am doing it you're gonna make the hair look sleeker and neater now what i'm gonna do is without taking any more product i'm just gonna use the same hands to kind of flatten the other hair so it all looks very even out now take a hairspray and put your hair all together just like this and use this spray targeting on the baby hair on your neck or behind your neck and then just use your hand to put all your hair together so they become neater and can be easily put together in a ponytail now put your hair together and put it in a neat and clean ponytail which is positioned in the center mid of your head just like this now use a rubber band and tie your ponytail neatly 
making sure that it is in the center and also make sure that your rubber band is thin so that it's not visible once you're done with your ponytail now you will take a donut and pass it through your ponytail like this now spread the hair of the ponytail all over the donut very nicely and neatly and make sure that it is covered completely and then secure it using a rubber band you can stretch and pull the hair like this so that the bun looks very tight and put all together just like this you can also use another hair band to secure it and lock it in its position Now collect the excess hair which is out and wrap them around the donut neatly and secure them with a U pin or a bobby pin. I'm using a U pin here because it is easier to use it and it is more secure. Make sure that you be careful while you're putting the pins and use minimum number of pins required and try to hide and conceal seal them as much as possible also it is important to use the pins of the same color and make sure that they are not damaged or are faded if you are using any tic tac pins on the side now once you're done it's time to use the minimum amount of hairspray to make it look more neat and help you with the baby hair around now take a hair net like a fine hair net over the bun and double it over or three folds as much as you want and secure it now it looks even more neat and clean now it's up to you if you want to use a scrunchie over it if you have it by all means go ahead and use Now use a comb and a little bit of hairspray at the back of your hair to neat up the hair behind your neck or on your neck and then use a bobby pin or a tic tac pin to just secure the hair just like this Now using a very very minimum amount of the gel or the paste you will take it in your hand and very very nicely and using the minimum product you will just make your hair in the front neater and that's all make sure that you're not using any excess product we are focused on having a matte finish and that's all makeup look which looks very professional and very neat just as what the recruiters are looking for if you found this video helpful do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel follow me on my social media handles and i will see you in my next video till then bye bye